Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today's yoga flow is centered around the summer solstice. This is such a beautiful time in the wheel of the year as the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere depending on what time of year is completely pointed towards the sun so we have our longest day of the year so we're really going to harness that energy of abundance and manifestation and nourishment in this season so go ahead and join me in a seated position we're going to start by closing our eyes and taking some nice deep nourishing breaths now you can do this on your own pace but make sure you're fully inhaling pausing for just a moment and fully exhaling this is a beautiful time to turn inward and really find from your intuition, your internal guidance, what nourishment you need. Go ahead and take one more deep breath and then we're just going to do some wide head circles either direction, slowly going all the way around. We can hold a lot of tension in our neck and shoulders, especially from all the action we've been taking this spring. So really take your time with these head circles. And then switch directions, continuing to focus on your breath, fully inhaling and exhaling. The summer solstice is a time for pause and reflection as we really nourish our bodies. Hopefully this yoga flow is very nourishing for you. Then come back to center and we're gonna do some shoulder rolls back. Make sure you're checking in with your posture too. You wanna have a nice long spine, not hunching over. You can always sit on a blanket if you need to. Continuing to breathe and feeling any tension in your shoulders. Go ahead and switch directions, rolling them the other way. The summer solstice really is a time to pause and remember that light can reach such far places even when it seems impossible. Go ahead and come back to center. Let's inhale, reach up nice and high towards the sky. Exhale, bringing your hands down towards the ground. Inhale, reaching up nice and high. Exhale, bring your hands down. One more time, inhale, reach, reach, reach with your gaze. Bring your hands together. And then let's go ahead and lower our right hand and bring our left arm over our side body, looking up towards the arm, really feeling that stretch and extension in our side body. Inhale back to center and let's do the same thing on the other side, bringing our gaze up towards the sky, acknowledging the sun. If you can do this yoga flow outside, even better. Inhale back to center. Exhale, we're gonna twist to the right. You can put your hand on your knee and then place your back hand on the ground, really grounding in this season. Big inhales and exhales here. Inhale back to center. Exhale, twisting towards the other side. Still having a nice, tall, straight spine even in these twists. Inhale back to center releasing down into cactus arms looking up towards the sky feeling that beautiful energy and nourishment from the sun inhale back to center and then release down now go ahead and meet me in tabletop pose we're going to start with some cat cows so shoulders over wrists hips over knees we're going to inhale bringing our gaze up towards the sky dropping our belly Exhale, tucking everything in, your tailbone and your chin to your chest. Exhale, looking up towards the sky, dropping your belly. Exhale, bringing chin towards your chest. Now do that a few more times on your own pace, tilting that tailbone in and out, really allowing that wave to move through your spine. And then we're just going to go ahead and tuck our toes under into plank for just a moment and then pop our hips up into downward facing dog, pushing our palms into the ground, really grounding in this pose. You can walk the dog by alternating, bending your legs if you'd like to. And then we're going to inhale, bring that right foot up into the sky into three legged dog and then bring it towards the other side of your mat to really open your hip into scorpion 
And then on the next inhale, we're going to go ahead and sweep that right leg through. Your right foot is going to be between your two palms, which are still on your mat. And then go ahead and bring it into high lunge, still leaning into that right leg, leaning it forward as much as you can. But go ahead and bring those hands up by your head, biceps by your ears. Your shoulders are down, but you're reaching towards the sky. And then we're going to inhale, bring that back foot down into warrior two, stretching out our arms as far as we can. Stay here for one breath. And then we're going to go ahead and just circle our arms back into reverse warrior. So your back arm is going towards your back foot. And then your other arm is reaching over your side body. Go ahead and bring your gaze towards your back foot, feeling that sensation in your side body. And then we'll just go ahead and rotate it around into extended side angle. So now our front elbow is on our front knee, which is bent. And then the other arm is reaching over our side body. Gaze towards the sky and the sun, honoring the sun in this moment. And then bring it back into warrior two for just a moment. And then we're going to rotate our hips back towards the front of our mat into warrior one. Find that balance on your front leg, your right leg. And then we're going to go into warrior three, really finding that balance in this season. Now, if you want to, you can stay in warrior three, or you can join me in dancer's pose by grabbing onto your back foot, still honoring that balance, honoring that confidence and trust in ourselves in this season. That is what the summer solstice is all about. The trust that the sun comes back and gives us full nourishment. Then go ahead and release down into warrior three and then eventually warrior two, high lunge. Let's go ahead and bind our hands behind our back, really opening that chest, really, you know, feeling into what our body needs. That feels so good for my body after all those poses. And then we'll come back down into low lunge for just a moment, plant our palms on the ground, step it back into plank, and then meet me in downward facing dog. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to inhale that left leg up nice and high and then bring it back into scorpion, opening that hip, rotating that ankle if that feels good to you, and then sweep your foot through into low lunge. So your foot is between your two palms, which are flat on your mat. Take one deep breath here. And then we're going to go ahead and bring it up into high lunge. So bring your hands to your knee, still leaning into that front lunge. Biceps by your ears, shoulders are down, reaching up as high as you can. And then we're going to bring that back foot down into warrior two, stretching out our arms as far as we can. We're now facing the side of our mat. And then we're going to swing our arms towards the back of our mat, our back arm resting on our back leg and our side arm reaching out across over our side body our gaze is down at our back foot reaching as far as we can feeling that sensation in our side body and then we'll go ahead and swing it the other way and to extend it a side angle so that front elbow is now on the front knee reaching the other arm over the side body stretching as far as we can then go ahead and inhale back to warrior two for just a moment. And then we're going to face the front of our mat in warrior one, prepping for warrior three. So finding that balance on your left leg, finding your balance here, trusting ourselves, being confident in the summer solstice energy. And then if it feels right, you can bring it to dancer pose. So just grabbing that back foot, extending the other arm out in front of you as far as you can being gracious with yourself and giving yourself any nourishment you need in this moment. Then go ahead and reach back out into warrior three, back down into warrior one and do a quick bind behind our back. Again, just kind of feeling into our body and what it needs in this moment. This feels so good on my shoulders and my chest, opening our chest towards the sun, receiving that sun, summer solstice energy. Then we're going to step it forward. Go ahead and shake it out just a little bit. Then we're going to inhale, reach up nice and high towards the sky. Exhale, bring your arms down. Inhale, reaching all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, bringing it down. One more time. Inhale, reaching up, 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 and then bring your palms together. And then slowly bring your hands down into prayer hands. 
and we're just standing here with a nice straight posture, gently breathing, nourishing breaths, allowing ourselves to go inward for just a moment if we're not already there and see what nourishment we need in this moment. What can we allow to bloom in this current season? Then you're going to step back facing the side of your mat, facing me, and we're going to reach our hands and our gaze and our hearts towards the sun, receiving that beautiful light energy. Just take a moment to be here with that beautiful sun summer solstice energy. You can wiggle it back and forth if you need to a little bit, just reach, reach, reach. And then when it feels right, go ahead and squat down into goddess pose. So we're going to squat down as far as we can. Then you bring your hands into either a few options here. You can put them in cactus pose, or you can bring them into prayer hands in front of you by your chest, or in reverse prayer hands behind your back. But try to squat it down as far as you can. Try to get your hips in line with your knees, breathing into that beautiful sun energy that empowering energy take one more deep breath here then we're going to stand up and reach up towards the sky bringing our gaze in our hands and slowly hinge forward at the hips keeping our back straight biceps by your ears into a forward fold stopping at that 90 degrees and then let's go ahead and take it into a side lunge on the left side still keeping our hips and our torso at 90 degrees, biceps by the ears, and then take it to the right side, really leaning into that side lunge, and then continue all the way down into a wide leg forward fold. We're gonna go ahead and tuck our hands into our elbows and just kind of gently rock back and forth. Again, it's all about nourishing ourselves in this season, taking a sacred pause when it feels right and just tuning in to what we need to move forward through the rest of our year and go ahead and bring your chest towards your left leg you can hold on to your ankle or your calf if that feels good getting in a nice hamstring stretch you can bend the knee slightly if you need to and then we'll take it towards the right side bringing your chest as close as we can towards the leg taking nice deep breaths then back to center for just a moment and then go ahead and meet me on the ground we're going to do a bridge pose quickly before we wrap up our practice here so our feet are flat on the ground our palms are pushing into the ground as we push our hips up as high as we can you can move those hips back and forth if you like i put my hands in a bind to help me get some more leverage and push my hips up as high as I can. Those shoulders are pushing into the ground. Again, feeling into that sun energy, that light energy of the summer solstice. And then gently bring your hips down. We're gonna go ahead and extend our right leg high up in the sky, flexing our foot. You can do a few ankle rolls if that feels good. And then bring your right ankle over your left knee into a lying figure four. Now you can keep it there. If you want a deeper stretch, go ahead and put your hands behind your left knee, bringing that knee toward your chest while you're bringing your right knee towards the bottom of your mat, really feeling that hip start to open. And then we'll go ahead and drop it down, extending that right foot up and then take it to the other side. So now our left foot is in the air, doing some ankle circles as we flex our left foot. And we'll go ahead and drop our left ankle over our right knee. And then if it feels right, bring your hands behind your right knee, pulling your thigh closer to you while you extend that left knee towards the front of your mat deepening that stretch in your hip. Then go ahead and release it down. Before we head into Savasana, we're gonna hug our knees into our chest, showing so much gratitude for ourselves, for this season, and for showing up today. Give yourself a big ol' hug, and then we'll extend our arms and our legs, and really just ground in this moment as we take a few moments and breaths to wrap up our practice here for the summer solstice. 
some mantras you can repeat to yourself if it feels aligning is I am open to receiving nourishment and growth. I am able to receive the energy needed to develop trust in my life. Breathe into this moment as you contemplate those mantras and feel the energy from the sun. Now when it feels right, go ahead and join me in the center of your mat in seated pose. I am so grateful that you showed up today and so grateful that we get to celebrate this summer solstice together, this nourishment and beautiful time of light energy. Go ahead and bring your palms to your heart when you are ready. I will see you in the next yoga flow. Namaste.